100 quid, 100 quid, silly money. Three quid vine? No, don't. Ooh. It's fine, I've already paid for it, it's fine. Mom. Oh god, you're right. Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name's Jack and I am one half or now a third of the global thrifters. Emily and Remy are chilling. However, today's video does include some buying at a car boot. We find lots of good bargains to then hopefully resell on eBay to make a profit. That's what we do day in, day out, week in, week out to pay our bills and now support our family. So yeah, this channel is just documenting our journey, what we find and then what we sell, which leads us on to some sales after the car boot footage so hopefully you enjoy it if you do smash a huge thumbs up down below and if you're new around here please consider subscribing we really appreciate it let's get thrifting how much is your big truck mm. oh, i appreciate that dude yeah. thank you very much have a lovely day a whole lot of how, how much was the whole bag with? The whole bag? Ten. I'll give you a five from you. You, you don't want to take them home, do you? I owe you five for that, I'll, win. No, yeah. I'll, I'll keep looking in there. Hey, what's that? Oh, a lot of them though, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Huh? Sure you got placements. <laughs> Just what you came down uh, for. Quid, that, yeah. it? Yeah. How much is it? Five. Is it? No. Well, decent condition out of 100. Really? It's not in decent condition, but I'll try to clean it up. But it, but it works? Yeah, it heats up. How much are those women there? 30 pounds for the bag, 50 for the post. Yeah, that's true. Why not? And then you've got camera and game. Three good. Three good, so on. 13. There's another camera in that bag on the end. Uh, camera there, camera there. Yeah, yeah, of course, bro. Light. Okay, what are we on? 13 50. 14. We'll be going home in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, this beach. Oh, right. It's by loads of cheaper. Have you got any different? No, everything's out. Have you seen these again? Yeah, that's a good one. That one, bud? Down. Down, right. Oh. Yeah. You've got five a change, but I'm up to 15. You can have a count up if you want, but. Um, Over here, mate, if you are. Hey, am I Sorry, bud. How much your track you top plate down bottom? Five down bottom, bud. Uh, two pounds each, mate. Appreciate it. Two, mate. Oh, I'm oh, ordering some chocolate waffles next week. <laughs> well, I don't know, I thought it was worth a go, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I might try it out at home first. What did I say? 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 
15. And the uncle? Yes, and the electric the uncle? Uh, the electric five. Oh. Oh, that one. Uh, that's the other side. Is it just a few scratches? Nothing major to it? No, no, it plays fine. Yeah, yeah. And electric is just a chip there, sort just of thing? Just a chip on there and just obviously needs some new strength. Yeah. It does work. Okay. Do 15 on the power? Uh, yeah. Yeah, go on then. Uh, three pounds? You got four. Yeah. Thank you, mate. Appreciate yeah. that. What's the uh, the yak thing or on the floor? Uh, it's a kayak spray deck. So it oh, goes around okay. a kayak to keep the water. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. How much is that? Uh, that's five pounds for that. Oh. Quite expensive. But it's barely been used. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you a fiver back. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it to the boss. So you get all that? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. you. Any chance I can pick the guitars up in a minute? Is that alright if I leave the guitars there? Ooh! It's fine, I've already paid for it. It's fine. <laughs> Looks fancy, doesn't it? <laughs> it, is, it, go, it? It goes on a straight line. On oh, okay. Piece. How much is it? How much is it? Mum! Oh, God, you're right. Oh, God. Ooh, that just missed. You get your nose. It's How much do you want for that, Mum? Sorry. No, 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 you're okay. No, that's yeah. way more important. Don't be worried about me. Yeah, yeah. How much do you want for that? Oh, five pounds. Five, okay. And what about your. DVDs. Two quid. Two. Mm. Would you do five on the pair then? Yeah, five for that. But would you do five on both? Yeah, go on. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Right, thank, thank you. Thank you guys. Have a lovely day. Thank you. And be careful of that lamppost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, so the puzzles? Oh, that's the duplo. Oh, the duplo. Yeah. Five, three pounds. Have a nose, is that right? Good. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Do you have like the charger and everything for this? No charger, mate, no. Just, just it as it is. Work. Do you know what, what sort of do you know what sort of plug in it is? It's like a laptop one. We charge fire, we charge fire. Is it in there? Is it? Is yeah, it's it? underneath there, mate. Yeah, oh, Amazon, see. Amazon sell them for uh, six. Can't remember what they sell, yeah, but yeah, yeah. she don't use it no more. So yeah, of course, of course. It's like a tenner on it. Got fifteen on it. Ten. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got the nod. You got yeah, the nod. Mate, so yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. Is three quid by him? No, no, it's got to be a fiver, does it? Are they really? Mm. Four quid then? No, still not. <laughs> Good morning. Good brown. Thank you, Thanks very much. Thank you very much. A few moments later. Hello. So yeah, we just got back to the van. I've just done one trip today. Um, still got to sort and organise and process the stuff from last week. So I'm going to real quick go through what we bought here. Haven't looked anything up. Haven't checked comments or anything. So it's just that instinct. And yeah, see how we go. So. As you saw, bought the two guitars. Now, both of them have issues, so obviously that big chip there. But it was a fiver, 
Uncle Qatar, Union Jack. Um, definitely worth more than a fiver, even with that damage. Now, as you can see, the van is an absolute mess. Because you've got a van, people ask you for favours. I picked up a bloke from my brother. Yeah, still in the van. And as I said, stuff from last week still hasn't been processed. Well done, Jack. And I think this is stag. Yeah, stag. So we bought a stag, obviously, um, case last week. I don't think it's this shape. A similar shape, maybe. But pay £10 for this. There's some scratches on there, but it is the electric acoustic, which does help the value. So, yeah, haven't checked comps, but £10. Hopefully there's still a profit in that. Okay, now that last buy, I think it was the last buy, maybe second to last buy, was this. I decided to take um, bungee straps out with me. I borrowed one last week, um, but this week took them out with me. And it's much easier. It means I can put more on the trolley. More, look more like a reseller, so more people can look at me and I stand out like a sore thumb. But the car park for this car boot is a little bit of a walk away from the actual car boot itself. And that's wasted time. I don't want to keep walking back and forth. Um, that's why I use the trolley, obviously. To save time, make more money. Happy days. Anyway, bought this, paid them £10. And I think online they are like 40 to 50 Unfortunately, it is missing the power cable. But I'm pretty sure it's pretty standard. You can't see it in there. But it is the best one. But this may stay. We have got a little red one for, for Remy. Um, but we'll, we'll see. If this one's better, we may swap it out for this one. Sell the other one. Hey, uh, yak buoyancy aid. It's that time of year now, the weather. So, you know, I think I paid five. Probably not big money, at least 15. Again, paid five for this yak as well, separate seller. Um, I'm hoping at least 15. But if they're more like 20 to 25 pound range, that would be a bonus. Because otherwise, what's, what's the point, isn't it? Like, it's just, you're literally just buying. It's not what's the point, that's, that's a lie. But it's, you're paying five pound. And if you sell it for 15 after fees, yeah, okay, a plus postage, obviously. but. You know, you're making like less than ten pound. It's they're not the not the sort of multiplier that I, I want to aim for. Now, shout out to the couple. I didn't catch your name, sorry, but um, who when I went back to just see if they had anything left or what not. What not um, so they watched the video. So appreciate that, guys. And we bought about five things off them, I think. So I'll quickly go through that now. Now, they're resellers as well, and I don't know why I've done this to myself. Why have I bought? I don't know how many is in here. Absolutely loads. But it was a fiver. And they're thinking, yeah, you know, what an idiot. But, uh, I don't know. I have no idea. It's a fiver. So, I mean, I don't even think they sell. I, I, I'm fairly confident they don't sell. Um, because no one's got that mat anymore, do they, on the Wii? I have no idea. But, um, it was a fiver. So, deal with that later. Can't help myself, can I? I'll get back to the rest of their uh, stuff I bought from them in two seconds. We'll move on to this. Christmas carousel, which I thought was pretty cool. Paid five for that. And Band of Brothers. Now, side note, Band of Brothers, if you haven't seen it, what a series. Absolute classic. Honestly, one of the best series I've, I've seen. Um, and if anyone disagrees, fight me, because you're wrong. It's a brilliant series. So yeah, no idea the value, but it was sealed. If it wasn't sealed, I wouldn't have bothered. But yeah. Um, hopefully 20 quid. I have no idea. It could be £3.90 free shipping, but for a five of the pair, I've got this thrown in. Hopefully that pays for it at least. And then this, come Christmas. Oh man, like, I think that's going to bang, that will. That will absolutely sell. I can't see why not. It's different, isn't it? And it's, and it's a bit vintage. It's not like ultra old. Um, it's also got a barcode on there. But, but yeah. That will, that will sell. Come Christmas, that will definitely sell. But, couldn't put a value on it. 30 quid. So back to that couple, we bought this waffle maker, which uh, they said works and everything, and I, I, I believe them, they look like trusting people, but it needed a good clean. Apparently the, the, the fella has already spent two hours cleaning it, so I wonder what it looked like before. It's not too bad. So yeah, I'll give it a little wipe over, but that'll be, I'll test it and that'll be going online. No idea of value, but some of these can be worth, you know, 50 quid, 100 quid, silly money. So we'll see how it goes. Nintendo Switch case. For Nerf, never seen it before, it's like a pound. It's got to be at least 10 on it, you'd, you'd hope so. The thing is buying from resellers, unless, they just, unless they're just looking to clear, and they can't be asked to list, like a lot of us do when we go, we, we clear stuff out of our car boot. Um, you always, sometimes you question, oh, why have you not sold it yourself? And I did ask a guy, I said, oh, if you're a reseller, why have you not sold the thing? And he, and he just said, if it's not in really clean, good condition, you don't want to put it on his eBay. I respect that, I respect that. And I said, old lamp, um, ceiling light, 
quite like this actually. Not, I wouldn't have it myself, but it um, paid, I think, 50 pence for a pound. And yeah, I mean, it's got to be at least 20. At least 20, I hope. And yeah, N64 game from him. Don't think it's got any value, but it's sort of bundle game, which you know when you get a console, chuck it with, adds value. And then JVC. Some JVC uh, cameras can do well. No idea if that one is or not, but come with the box. So I think I paid like three quid. So hopefully at least 20 pounds. Oh, and a hat, 50 pence for the hat. Save the planet, Hard Rock Cafe Jamaica. I don't know, fiver, tenner. Didn't even, wasn't gonna buy it really. You went, it's only 50 pence. So I bought it. And then last up, which was the first buy of the day, um, and it's a big track, but I, I couldn't tell if it was the original one or not. I think I'm going mad, because there, there was a real remake next to it. I think it's a remake. I'm pretty sure it's a remake. It's got, the, it's got a barcode on there, which makes you think remake. But, well, no, actually, no, because the, the original probably, probably still had a barcode. But, um, yeah, I'll just I'll check online. Even as, as a remake, um, yeah, that, that looks, that's new, isn't it? You know, novelty gifts, or novelties. But yeah, even as, as a repro, remake, whatever you want to call it, £5, I'm sure, will get our money back with a bit of profit. But we have sold, I think, the trailer to the original one for about £50 before. Shout out to Dawn, who uh, found it. But um, but yeah, so, a bit more research at home. But it was only a fiver, so, it's what I do to myself when it's cheap. I buy it. So, you get all this in there now, get home, get working, can get paid a bit. Later. Okay, so I'll do a quick roundup of a few sales. It's nice that we're listing again and a few things are going out. It's got about 15 items going out today. And yeah, I'm going to quickly run through what has sold. So, ice cream maker. Do you remember in probably one of our first videos back when we got back into doing them recently, bought an ice cream maker for £1.50? It has sold for £29 plus postage. Very happy. The next up, we got some, I think it's the Buzz Lot, yeah. We've we'll just seen in our last video, we paid. Two pound sold for eleven. Quick sale, quick list, quick package. Very little work. I mean, it's one of the newer ones, so it wasn't worth sort of the big money. But eleven pounds fine. You know, we would rather the bigger money. But hey, two into eleven, still a strong multiple. And then under there, we've got a uh, storm lantern. I think it's the Miva. Um, took an offer. It was up to twenty five. Took an offer of twenty. So you know, they are bread and butter. We never really pay more than five. For them, so, and then we've had this one for so long, so probably paid three to five. Sold for 20, it's bread and butter. Down here, for some car parts, sort of, uh, don't know, MG car parts, or just different bits and pieces, not like engine parts, but sort of like wing mirrors and just, I don't know, just odd bits that we bought in a job lot of stuff. I think we've got 30 pounds for that, and it's been sat around for absolutely ages. We sold one or two sort of the vintage Lucas lights out of it, made our profit out of that. So yeah, I had been sending offers of 25 out, and someone came and paid full price, Thirty pound, very very happy. We got here. We got a Guitar Hero. Um, took it off of like eight quid, I think. Seven pound fifty. We didn't have to dongle for it. It's had it for so long. It's took longer to package, and it's worth the money we made from it. Basically, it would have gone to the car boot if we'd done one recent uh, soon. Uh, we got Tinkerbell. Bought this a recent video. Paid a pound. Sold for nine or ten, I think. So again, not the big money, but it gets out the door. Money in, money out. If there's little work involved, didn't need cleaning, testing, anything like that. I don't mind paying a pound if you're getting almost 10 for it. It's a good multiple, but you need a lot of them to obviously make any money. Next up, this is the best one here. I'll save this till last. We've got some Sabutio. Again, you might have seen our video. We paid £20 for a job lot of Sabutio. She didn't, we didn't buy it the first time around in our video because it was all mess. It was unorganised. After 10, didn't want to pay 20. Then we come back the week after and she'd organised it. Everything was in its set that was meant to go, all the teams and players, everything like that. So from that job lot, we separated a few bits and this went for 30. We've sold a, another set for 10 and an empty box for 10. So you know, we're into profit now, that's 50 obviously minus commission, and we've still got a couple of things left over to sell, so very, very happy with that. We've got some Scalectric uh, uh, catalogues, I think, manuals, I'm not too sure, but again, it's like seven free shipping, it's got a large letter, but they have had them for so long, we wouldn't have paid anything for them, they would have come in a bundle of bits that we've bought, you know, bought some Scalectrics, we found them in, in there, so anything is better than nothing. And then down here we've got, on the bottom, is the faulty PS3 that you might have seen in our last video. Paid two pound and sold it for 30, plus, commit, uh, plus postage. So, you know, they were selling for a little bit more, but the case was in bad condition and 
Yeah, it just it, it sold very quickly, so we probably could have got a little bit more. But I'm happy with that. Two into thirty, that's more than your ten times multiple. Very, very happy. Next up is some knitting magazines. Now, I think we bought a knitting machine last year, maybe a year before. No, maybe it was last year. Sold it for like hundred pound. Got loads of, done really, really well out of it. But there was they come with these magazines, listed them, and no one ever made an offer. Never any interest. But yeah, now they've sold for I think eight, ten. I'm not sure. I'll put it on the screen anyway. But that was money for nothing. And second to last is some roller skates. Now, I said we've been selling a lot of roller skates lately. So I bought these and I've done the stupid thing at the car boot where I didn't look at them properly. They were three quid, so I just bought them. Got them home and the whole back heel is coming away. Like, you could probably repair it, you know, and, and they are still... We've sold them as, we've either said, a restoration project because they are vintage or... Use as a prop. You put them on a shelf, no one would ever know if that's a sort of cafe or bar or for a film or anything. But anyway, yeah, we sold them for like £7 plus postage, so we barely make our money back. It's definitely not worth it, but hey, you live and learn. We're not perfect. We do make mistakes. So, last up, we sold another football. Now, we've sold a few vintage football, say vintage, like retro footballs over the years. Now, this sold for £99.95. So, yes, you heard, you heard that correctly, £100, which is ridiculous. I believe it is, I'll put it on the screen, but I believe it's the Moita match, I can't remember what it is now, <laughs> match match day, is it match premiere? I don't know, I'll put it on the screen, you'll be able to see it there. So yeah, £100. I had been, again, sending offers off out of as low as 80 and someone had come in and paid the full price of £100. I'm very, very happy. I think we paid no more than five, no more than five. Um, yeah, maximum five, I can't remember, I had it ages. But yeah, it took a long time to sell, but very, very happy for a hundred pound football. So yeah, that's a few things going out the door. We also posted five Etsy orders today for our Reborn Rewild bags. Shout out to the person who bought a bum bag a couple of weeks ago. I've already sent that. But yeah, you, you bought one of our bum bags after watching our videos. So yeah, really, really grateful. Yeah, so things are going well. Very, very happy. Hope all your sales are doing well as well. But yeah, let's just keep listing and let's keep selling and we'll give you an update in a bit. So there we go, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Talking of waffle makers, in particular waffles, the Sunday Waffle, which is now on a Tuesday, hosted by James, James Collects, Ricky, which is Ricky Resales, John Luke, which is now John Luke YouTube, and Kieran at Rummage Around, are doing it on a Tuesday sort of live chat on YouTube, and they will be coming back this Tuesday. So yeah, make sure you go over to Ricky's channel, I think. And yeah, make sure you catch up, because we'll be there watching along. However, hope you've enjoyed today's video. It was really nice to get out. We've managed to find some real good items there with potentially some good profit. And we've showed you a few things that have sold recently. So we're not just buying, we are listing and some stuff has sold as well. So yeah, really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Do drop a comment down below what has been your best find or best sale recently because we'd love to hear how you guys are getting on. So, catch you next week for a brand new video. Don't forget, hit that like button down below and subscribe if you're new. See you soon.